is Voice of Korea. This is Voice of Korea. This is Voice of Korea. Language Service of Voice of Korea from Pyongyang, the capital of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Now here's mixed cars, song of General Kim Il Sung. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Japanese mail cars, son of General Kim Jong Il. of the State of Defense of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, and Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, sent a message of greetings to Xi Jinping, General Secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China, President of the People's Republic of China, and Chairman of the Central Military Commission of the People's Republic of China. The message reads, Beijing, Xi Jinping, General Secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China, President of the People's Republic of China, Chairman of the Central Military Commission of the People's Republic of China. I send warm congratulations to you and through you to the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China, the Government of the People's Republic of China, and the Chinese people on the occasion of the 60th anniversary of the conclusion of the DPRK China Treaty on Friendship, Cooperation, and Mutual Assistance in the name of the Workers' Party of Korea and the DPRK Government and people, and in my own name. The conclusion of the DPRK China Treaty on Friendship, Cooperation, and Mutual Assistance was a historic event that demonstrated the firm will of our two parties, two governments, and two peoples to develop long the DPRK China friendship on a solid legal basis, which had been established with blood on the road for anti imperialist independence and socialism. Over the past 60 years, the two countries of the DPLK and China have written the proud history of friendship, sharing sweets and bitters, and constantly supporting and cooperating both materially and morally in the struggle for the common cause, despite all the tempest of the time. 
of recent years, the comparable confidence and militant friendship between the two countries and China have got deeper with each passing day, despite the unprecedentedly complex international situation and the traditional DPRK China friendship is a new driving force is comprehensively developing onto a higher stage in all fields, including politics, economy, military affairs, and culture. The DPRK China Treaty on Friendship, Cooperation, and Mutual Assistance is displaying its stronger vitality in safeguarding and promoting the socialist cause of the two countries and ensuring peace and stability of Asia and the world today. When the challenges and obstructions of the hostile forces get more vicious, it is the steadfast stand of our party and government to constantly strengthen and develop the relations of friendship and cooperation between the DPRK and China, according to the new demand of the time and the desire of the two peoples. Our party, government, and people will in the future too for the treasure the DPRK China friendship, the precious common wealth of the two countries, and join hands firmly with the Communist Party of China and the Chinese government and people on the sacred road of building socialism and communism. I am greatly rejoiced over the fact that the Chinese party and people have achieved remarkable successes in building socialism with the Chinese characteristics under your leadership and grandly celebrated the centenary founding anniversary of the party. I wish you continuous great progress in your work to build a modern social state in an uber way and achieve prosperity of the Chinese nation. I sincerely wish you good health and the greatest success in your responsible work for prosperity of the country and happiness of the people. Kim Jong Un, General Secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea, President of the State of Affairs of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Pyongyang, July 11th, 2110 or 2021. Kim Jong Un, General Secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea, President of the State of Affairs of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, and Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, received a message of greetings from Xi Jinping, General Secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China, President of the People's Republic of China, and Chairman of the Central Military Commission of the People's Republic of China on the 11th, on the occasion of the 60th anniversary of the conclusion of the DPRK-China Treaty on Friendship, Cooperation and Mutual Assistance. The message said, In 1961, the leaders of the old generations of China and the DPRK made a strategic decision of concluding the China-DPRK Treaty on Friendship, Cooperation and Mutual Assistance looking far ahead into the future and thus provided an important political and legal basis to consolidate the militant friendship forged with blood by the peoples of the two countries and promote the long-term friendship and cooperation between the two countries. Over the past 60 years, China and the DPRK, in the spirit of the treaty, have strengthened the fraternal and traditional friendship between the two parties and two countries, promoted the development of the socialist cause, and defended peace and stability of the region and the world. Through a number of meetings with you in recent years, a series of important common understandings have been made to design the prospect of developing the relations between the two parties and two countries and enrich the contemporary content of the china DPRK friendship. I am willing to strengthen the strategic communication with you to have a good direction of advance over the china DPRK relations and lead the relations of friendship and cooperation between the two countries constantly to a near stage and thus provide a greater happiness to the two countries and two peoples. China resolutely supports the DPRK, developing the economy and the people's livelihood, and partly promoting the cause of a socialist construction. I am sure that the Korean party and people would surely make greater new successes under your leadership, the message added. 
Kim Do-kun, Premier of the Cabinet of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, sent a message of greetings to Stephen Le Pugin on the 9th upon his re-election as Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Sweden, expressing the belief that the friendly and cooperative relations between the two countries would continue to develop on good terms. He wished the Swedish Prime Minister successes in his work to overcome the global epidemic crisis and achieve prosperity of the country. Kim Do-kun, member of the Presidium of the Political Bureau of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea and Premier of the Cabinet of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, made a field survey of the agricultural sector. Looking around different units, including farms in Pongtun, Petun, Yunnan, and Songdan counties of the South Hongi province, he inspired the agricultural workers who are making strenuous efforts to increase the grain production. At a number of farms in Suncheon City and in the county of the South Korean province, he reiterated that thoroughly implementing the party policy on scientific farming is the best way to reap a high and secure yield. He also heard the opinions of the farm officials on some practical measures to be taken by the cabinet in order to improve the economic management method in line with the demand of the developing reality. Kim Do-kun called that food administration units in South Kungi and South Kungan provinces and nurseries and kindergartens in Mundo County to learn about the enforcement of the crucial measures taken by the Workers' Party of Korea. He called upon all the officials to do their work in a more responsible manner, true to the noble outlook of the party central committee on the people and the rising generation. Successes are made at different units of the national economy. The Tokson area coal mining complex is fulfilling its daily plan of coal production for a single power generation at more than 110% in the same spirit of having carried out its first half yearly plan. The Taeyeon Heavy Machine Complex finished the production of generating equipment for Unit 3 of the Odonson Power Station by making innovations in the production of the ordered equipment. The Siemens Textile Mill is achieving successes in localizing and recycling raw and other materials. The mill has mapped out a scientific and realistic business strategy, taking it as a vital issue to localize and recycle raw and other materials. It perfectly serves the scientific problems arising in production by strengthening its own technical force and giving full play to the creativity of the employees normalizing the production. It also secured a large quantity of cotton waste and tattoos through exchange of procured articles with cities and counties and reuses all the waste from production of raw materials. The Daily Road on Shimon on Sunday carried an editorial titled BPRK China Friendship for the Strengthened and Developed on the Road of Socialism on the occasion of the 60th anniversary of the conclusion of the DPRK China Treaty on Friendship, Cooperation and Mutual Assistance. And at the end of the news, read by Kim Hyun Oh, this is Voice of Korea. Now you'll appreciate the female chorus. Our comrade Kim Jong Un.
Present orchestral music, the horse hooves on the back deal.
the song our faith. As our heart is one, so is the faith. We are defended like our lives for ages. Who can match the strength of our people united around the party central committee? We will win only victory under the leadership of Kim Jong Un. Plated work steed. The gift gold and silver plated work steed was presented to the respected Kim Jong Un by the Hong Kong Shakti Global Youth Exchange of China on September 9th, to say 102 or 2013. The work represents the steed galloping in the van. Was plated with gold and silver, and its saddle and neck decorated with paste and artificial pearls. So far, we've introduced gold and silver plated work steed. This is Voice of Korea. We now bring your female to your Wen Pang Chan. I sing of the party.
present live music, the model party that founded my destiny.
in the sun. I love my mother.
curious dance music. It is spring light and sunlight. Bring you the female sextet and chorus, People's Country.
listeners, with this we conclude the English language service of Voice of Korea from the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Voice of Korea presents its English language service for Europe between 15 and 16 hours UTC, between 18 and 19 hours UTC, between 21 and 22 hours UTC, and between 13 and 14 hours UTC on 13,760 kilohertz and 15,235 kilohertz. For North America, between 15 and 16 hours UTC and between 13 and 14 hours UTC on 9,435 kilohertz and 11,710 kilohertz. And for Northeast Asia, between 4 and 5 hours UTC and between 6 and 7 hours UTC on 7,220 kilohertz, 9,445 kilohertz and 9,730 kilohertz. Goodbye, this is Pyongyang.